in my time as a journalist, there has never been a piece of legislation that has evened up the balance of power between us as journalists and the opposition, whoever they may be, be they politicians, civil servants, bureaucrats or press offices, where whereby we are given a, a legislative framework to be able to ask questions and if we don't get the results that we want, we can then fight back, okay? We can then take it to tribunal, we can take it to the Information Commissioner's Office, we can actually find out what we want and we can demand an answer, which we've never been able to do before. It's very easy for us as journalists, and we get a sort of habit of talking in a sort of journalese, um, as to what topics are about, whereas people who work within the public authorities that you might be asking these questions talk in a completely different and bureaucratic language. Okay? Now, I wanted to do a story about bed blocking, and I sent off a question about bed blocking, and people were sending me replies back saying, what are you talking about bed blocking? We don't have bed blocking. We have, or do you mean, delayed transfer of care? So, yeah, that is what I mean, delayed transfer of care. Okay, so you have to get into their language. Like I call them on-the-spot fines, but they're called uh, fixed penalty notices for disorder. Okay, town hall snoopers. Okay, that's in fact the regulatory investigative powers act. Okay, and how many different types of, of um, intrusive or external um, snooping operations that they've done. So you have to immerse yourself in that language so that you then elicit the right answer from them and then you can then translate it back into normal speak once you've got the answer. One of the things that I've become obsessed about in a way is that when I have any sort of interaction with somebody who works in the public service, I'm constantly on the snoop to try and find out, oh, do they record that? What sort of information do they hold about that? Now having two kids that go to, that go to state schools and just the general interaction you have with your doctor or your chemist or your GP surgery or your hospital, all of those things, you start to tune in and you start to think, well, hold on, what information do they have? Okay. Another tip is not to overcomplicate the question. Okay. Don't think, right, okay, I've really researched this topic. I'm going to really hit them with a, with a wing dinger of a question and you make it sort of 10 bits long, okay, 10 different clauses. The best questions are the shortest questions, okay? You know what you want. The person who's receiving the question knows what you want. Now, I would say that if you're trying to get information um, that where you've got statistical information, what you, what you should try and do is get comparative statistical information. So if you're talking about students from Winchester University who've been kicked out for getting drunk on campus, okay? Well, if you've got that number, okay, it might be interesting in its own right in that there were five kicked off, okay? But really, you want to compare it with previous years, yep? Because then you want a comparative figure. So you can say the problems of drunkenness at Winchester University are increasing. Ten years, or, you know, three years ago, there was only two people kicked off. This year, there's ten people, okay? When you're also going for small numbers, one thing that I try and do is ask the organisation to give you a brief description of what that activity has been. Okay, so I'm not asking for a huge, great report, but I'm asking them to summarise it in some way. Now, they feel safer about that, and you get just a little sort of vignette to sort of spice up your story with. It's a good idea when you're starting out I think, to stick to a topic or subject which you might have some experience of already. Now, I don't know how or why that might be, but I'm sure that you have had some experiences. You Perhaps you've worked in a kitchen, yep, or you've worked in a shop, and you've got, or you've got your parents are working X field, and you've just got a, a, a knowledge of one sphere will use that to your advantage. 